With the dog not paying attention to you, give the come command, tap the e collar after the command. Even if the dog is coming to you while providing leash guidance if necessary. So I'm going to say come, then I tap regardless if he's coming to me or not. By the way, if you guys are wondering what I'm listening to, there's this uh, guy on, on YouTube, Nate Schomer. Very educational YouTube channel to learn from. If you're interested in uh, dog obedience, check him out. So I got my string cheese for high value treats. I got my long leash. So you always want to use a long leash when you're conditioning. So that way, if the dog doesn't come to you, you help the dog come to you. And I got his ball for playtime later. Good boy. So now I'm going to find his working level. So he felt it on a six. And so I'm just doing this until the string cheese is done, which is about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna say, come, and then I'm gonna press it right after I say it, regardless if he comes or not. Come. Good. Good boy. Remember, you start off positive and you end positive. And over time, the dog will associate the e-collar with positivity. Look how happy he is. You happy dog? Go eat. Okay, so what you just saw was me doing the second step of conditioning. And I would say I'm about one week away from finishing it. So now I am just doing a little feeding time with Miss B and Uso. As you can see, Uso is eating with his e-collar on, and I'm just doing that just to get him used to eating with, with it on. So that way, if I ever need to correct him with the e-collar for food aggression, he's already immune to the way the e-collar feels on him. So he doesn't suspect something is going to happen. And as you can see, I was just petting Ms. B. She has no human aggression with food whatsoever. And I'm basically just letting them get used to eating together. And there you go. As you can see, I just pet Russo. No growl, no tenseness, no aggression. I'm working it slowly. Being around him and having another dog around him, just getting him used to eating and making him feel that you can trust us, you can trust me, nobody's gonna take your food. There's no need to be aggressive over it. As you can see here, I pick it up, just to show him that I'm not gonna take it away. I'm just moving it, helping them out. Hitting him a little bit again. Not being annoying, but just giving him a small little pet just to see how his reaction is going to be. And so far, so good. So the whole reason why I'm training with the e-collar is so that way I have full control over him. If he decides to be aggressive, I can correct him and let him know that's not appropriate from a distance. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this little video. You guys all have a good day and continue training with your dogs.